An emotional health secretary, Francisco Duque III, faces a House committee Tuesday, August 17, following a controversial audit report of his department's COVID-19 funds amounting to 67.3 billion pesos. Por Dios, por Santo, mahawa naman kayo. Kayo nga ang bumunta dito at kayo ang gumawa. Duque calls the Commission on Audit Report unfair and unjust. COA should also consider that we are not operating under normal circumstances. We're operating under a state of public health emergency. Winarat na ninyo kami. Winarat na ninyo ang dangal ng DOH. Winarat ninyo ang lahat ng mga kasama ko dito. Hindi kami makaharap sa mga tao dahil lahat ang dami-daming sinasabi, ang dami-daming paratang. Wala pa rin akong tulog. Duque says they were not given the full 60 days to explain their side on the findings. The 60 days Duque mentioned refers to the time given to an agency to report back to COA if they have implemented the recommendations made in the audit report. Before the audit report was transmitted to the DOH and published on the website, COA Chairperson Michael Aguinaldo says several meetings were held among resident auditors and DOH officials, and an exit conference was conducted. The DOH and other agencies were given until June 30 to submit documents before the audit report is published, as mandated by law. The DOH, however, failed to submit all the documents to COA. Aguinaldo says it is not correct to say that there is no due process. He notes they have an obligation to report what transpired with respect to an agency's budget allocation.